Welcome back to Katatsu Cats. We are on Kentucky Route Zero. Yes, I am Lady Katie. I'm Daniel Ragecliff, and I'm going to check on Blue. She's a good girl. Yeah. Uh. digging this game. So. It's just so stylish. Nice. <laughs> graveyard! Family graveyard is set off to the side of the house. Headstones are inscribed with the surnames of the unfortunate. Nowakowski? No probably Nowakowski, Padilla, and Marquez. But Marquez is the person we were coming to see. Well, yeah, but the, that just means that she's like her grandma or somebody. It's an old family graveyard that's common in farmhouses. Uh. And, you know, maternal grandparents, cousins, relatives. Light, Light switch? switch? Hi! I was just thinking what a lovely house we have. Do you like it? Have you been here before? Did you happen to see an owl? Uh. I didn't see any owl. I know. I saw it out the window once. Big ugly thing. All sound and fury. Well, it's gone now. There used to be another house here, but we had it destroyed. And we built this one. It was very expensive and we got quite underwater. What do you do for work? Is it too difficult or do you like it very much? I was once a mathematician. Are you looking for something in particular here? Um... Uh, how about I just keep the conversation? I drive deliveries for a small antique shop. I believe it's hard times for a small antique shop. It's hard times everywhere, even out here on our little farm. My parents stopped paying the bank a while back. I shouldn't even be here, but I just stayed. I have some notebooks. I'm only a little bored. I might prefer to watch TV occasionally. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Will you please set it up? Then I explain to you how to get where you're going. The zero. I know. Oh ho ho. Why do you know what I'm doing? Because it's purgatory! Nice. Whoa. Uh, she's got a bit of a cobweb problem. That's not how it's supposed to look. You made a mistake setting it up. Is it a foreign object to you? What your parents was it who wouldn't allow you to watch television? Ghosts in the static. I know about that. She was ill, wasn't she? Mentally, I mean. Kind of distant, fearful. I like the no things just have to be a certain way. Yeah, I get it. You have it all backwards. I'm not surprised, are you? Have you been paying attention? I don't think you have. It's time to start paying attention now, Conway. Look closely at the television. See those, like, big oh. squares on the... Yeah, those are, um, family quilt patterns. A lot of, uh, farmhouses, they have their own, like, it's like a family crest. Hmm. Each one of them has their own quilt pattern. Okay. No, just look at the horses. Hey, hey, wake up. You spaced out for a minute there. be tools and feed, books. Now, I think it's mostly spiders. Of course it is. Yes. The TV is picking up the wrong signal. My cousin Shannon would know more about it. She fixes TVs for a living. Well, she used to. I think the new models are giving her some trouble. Um, well, do you want to learn that? I think this is a game about lingering. Your cousin. Yeah. That's my father's brother's daughter, Shannon. We're about the same age. Well, we used to be. She's older now. Oh, this is definitely the afterlife. She had a workshop up Northways by the lake, right where P P 
Peony on Wax Road meet. It's a big bait and tackle shop, and she fixes TVs in the back. Do you like fishing? Honestly, I'm not convinced you should bother with the Zero. I'd much rather you find my cousin to fix my TV, but I'll get you headed the right way. So it's pretty easy. Get back on the 65 heading north, and take the first ride after the artificial limb factory. From there, your arrival at the Zero is basically inevitable. Hey, artificial limb factories are very important. Hmm. Nice to know you, Conway. Keep your eyes open, especially in the dark. By the way, our kitten Poppet is right now cuddled on top of Daniel's foot. She is very snug. Okay, I could, uh, fix this woman's TV. She's gone! Of course she's gone! Uh... I really like this. I think it's I think it's gonna be like one of those old southern ghost stories, you know? Where the ghosts aren't malicious, they're just you know, they're just there. They just want things done. An abandoned spiderweb stretches across the bottom of a saucepan. A skillet is seasoned with dust. So you're totally dead. Well, either that or you're transitioning from the dead or the living. I bet you're in a coma and you're deciding I bet the zero is the way to the afterlife, or the way to uh, wake back up. And you can decide whether or not you just want to linger in the twilight. But we'll find out. Whoa! Hey, people! Nice. Just no, tell, tell Blue about the horses. Blue would love that. Aww. Remember those horses you and Lizette and Ira had? Hmm. Aww. I love this. And I love the fact that you're basically making your own um, backstory. Yeah. So, all right, let's, uh, yeah. where, where did your, oh, wait, uh, yes, okay. Shannon Marquez's workshop. Up north a ways by the lake, right where Peonia and Wax Road meet. Okay. That is very handy, because none of us remember to actually keep in mind the directions. A museum? Wait, check the museum. I got my ways. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, go, go. Ah. Uh, this is strange. I know. But I like it. It's very interesting. Yeah. Guitar player. Young man in gray stained clothes sits by the side of the road. He's playing a worn guitar. To his left is a blue mug, and his right is a weathered dog. Pet the dog! Dog closes its eyes and pretends to be asleep. Aww. Young man struns absently on the guitar, hums tunelessly, and occasionally mumbles a word. Put a dollar in the cup. Young man stops playing, put the wet dollar bill out of his whiskey, and. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Now I feel like such a jerk. That's a factory. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got lost. Yeah, big runs. Turns a any drone from within the building. There's the large sign, part there's good for me. A mare. Artificial. Artif oh, there's the artificial lead factory. So So it's around here. Bill Road, Frenchman Knob Road, Bacon Creek Road. Ooh, wouldn't that be the best? Hmm. Uh, on ramp? Act One, Scene Three. Elkhorn and we'll catch Valley. you next time. Bye-bye.